Hi, my name is Mauricio, and I'm the co-founder of CloudWoods.net, where we help individuals and businesses find the right cloud storage service for their needs. Um, over the years, of running this website, we've learned from literally thousands of users that left us emails, comments, and feedback. What are the most pressing issues when people are searching for the right cloud for their needs? And no, Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive are not always the best answer. They can be, but we need to dig a little deeper, honestly. So stay tuned and watch this video or browse through our comparison chart right here or below in the description box um, so that you can really have an overview of what cloud services are available to you. Now, if you don't know what cloud storage actually is, make sure to watch my video Cloud Storage Explained in under two minutes right here because I'm not going to cover the details of cloud storage in this video. When choosing a cloud storage provider, one of the major questions is obviously storage. How much storage do you really need? Most cloud storage services come with a free version between two gigabytes and all up to 50 gigabytes. So you can test and see if a service works out for you. In our comparison chart, you can sort by the amount of free storage that is offered by each service. However, don't let free mislead you generally. The free accounts usually come with restrictions. So paid plans are available from a couple of hundred gigabytes to a few terabytes, which can get pretty expensive. However, $10 per month is the sweet spot more or less and gives you around one terabyte of storage these days. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Obviously, business versions are more expensive. Another crucial question to ask is about security. Services like Dropbox and OneDrive are convenient, but they're certainly not the most secure. They do provide a base level of security, like two-factor authentication, and they're encrypting files via protocols called TLS and AES, but certainly lack end-to-end -end encryption. This means your files are not encrypted before they leave your computer, but after with a key that the company controls, not you. So if you're looking for strong security for sensitive files, you should look at services such as Sync.com, our favorite, or Spider.org One, who offer zero, zero knowledge privacy. I'm sure when looking for a cloud storage service, one of your goals is to share files with people. The good news is virtually all cloud storage services today have this capability. But as always, the devil is in the details. Some services give you more control over who can see and do what with a shared file or folder. For example, with Dropbox, it's an all or nothing approach. Once a folder is shared with somebody, they can do basically whatever they like with the contents, such as deleting files you don't want deleted, and other services such as sync.com allow you to give specific rights to users or groups of users, for example, view only, or even set an access password to a shared folder. So think carefully how much control you really need about your shared files storage amount, security, and file sharing controls. What else? Let's look briefly at a few features that you might want to consider and evaluate carefully to decide which service to pick. Now, file versioning and deleted file retention. Here's the situation when you don't use a cloud storage service. You save or delete a file and then you need it back. Cloud storage services let you play sort of time traveler and recover older file versions. Some give you seven versions, some even unlimited. File retention is usually the amount of days a service keeps files in their storage facilities before deleting them for good. So if you accidentally deleted a file and notice it only after two weeks, you need to make sure your cloud service provider has deleted file retention policy of at least 14 days to recover that file. Now there's file size limitations probably. There are a lot of services that limit the file sizes you can upload to two gigabytes or even less. If you're dealing with a lot of large files, for example, in video, you have to make sure to watch the file size limit of each provider you're carefully evaluating. 
Then there is selective file synchronization. Sometimes you don't want to sync all of your content to every device. Let's say you have a, a home computer with a, I don't know, four terabyte hard drive, but a laptop with only a small SSD. Obviously, you have to make sure you only sync the folders necessary. Selective sync gives you this flexibility. However, keep in mind that services like Google don't allow you to check subfolders for selective sync. Now, live document editing. If you're looking for live online document editing capabilities, you are almost always limited to the big players like Google Docs and Microsoft uh, OneDrive with Office Online. You can, however, edit documents locally with other cloud storage services. The changes are then saved to the cloud where other people can access the new file version. If you're looking for a comparison series on Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, iCloud, and Amazon, you can access a playlist right here. But I'll also leave a link in the description box below. Mobile clients. If you're anything like me, you carry your mobile around with you all the time. Of course, you want your most important files to be with you as well. And that's why many cloud storage services allow you to download a mobile app so you can make files available for offline access on your mobile device. The quality of the mobile clients range considerably though. From simple mobile websites that you need to open in your mobile browser to sophisticated native apps that allow you to do the same things like the desktop counterparts. Good mobile clients will allow you to preview common files like JPEGs, PDF, uh, and Office files, and even edit PowerPoint presentations on the fly and update that for your whole team. Now, some people are looking for online hard drive functionality or archiving. Now, I'm a bit hesitant to talk about this feature because I feel that it can pose a risk to some users who trust their files entirely into one single cloud. Yet, many people are asking about this feature, so I want to cover it. Some services let you store files online without a local copy on your computer. For example, you can use Selective Sync to disable all local copies for some folders. Other services offer an archival feature to move files entirely to the cloud to free up hard drive space. Sometimes this is called a Vault feature. You can learn more about that in our sync.com review right here. Now, I say this can be dangerous because even cloud storage services can lose data or scramble your files in a way you don't want them to. That's why I highly advise to only use that feature for files you can really dispose of. No matter what cloud storage service you choose, make sure to double check their features in our comparison chart and think about what you really need. The features presented in this video reflect the most common questions thousands of users have asked us in the last few years. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave a comment or simply shoot me an email at mauricio at cloudwords.net and I'll put it into the video right here. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.